of Senators announced a resolution naming May as National Renewable Fuels Month, recognizing its important role in reducing carbon impacts, lowering fuel prices, and supporting rural communities. President and CEO of Renewable Fuels Association, Jeff Cooper, joins us now for more on this. Jeff, as always, a pleasure. So uh, give us a little background on this resolution and what it means for the industry. Yeah, well, good morning, Suzanne, and thanks for having me today. You're right, Senator Pete Ricketts from Nebraska uh, earlier this week led a bipartisan group of nine senators uh, in introducing a resolution that designates May as Renewable Fuels Month. And, and this is an exciting thing for our industry because it really draws attention to the enormous positive impacts that the renewable fuels industry has on the U.S. economy and, and on the environment. Um, you know, I, I think a, a resolution like this really causes us in the industry to take a break from the daily grind and, and causes us to, to pause for a moment and, and step back and look at the big picture and, and really celebrate the accomplishments of this industry. We, we are the largest producer of biofuels in the world, and that's something to be proud of. So we, are, we were really excited to see that resolution introduced earlier this week. Absolutely. So, Jeff, are there specific notes of the resolution when it does come to ethanol? Yeah, it's, I, I think the, the resolution is, is really interesting for anybody to look at. It really lays out the benefits of the renewable fuels industry in the U.S. It talks about the fact that uh, biofuels like ethanol reduce carbon emissions. They lower fuel prices for consumers. They support rural economies. I mean, the, the ethanol industry alone supported more than 400,000 jobs last year, contributed $60 billion to the U.S. economy. Uh, you know, biofuels re reduce reliance on foreign adversaries and, and reduce the need for crude oil imports. Uh, it also talks about the fact that ethanol has added uh, essentially $2 in value to every bushel of corn in the United States. So uh, these are the sorts of facts that are laid out I think, in a very compelling fashion in this resolution. And again, this is something that we think every American should take a look at to, to get a better understanding of how the renewable fuels industry is impacting their lives. Absolutely. Hey, Jeff, before I let you go, uh, any industry developments that you're keeping an eye on as we look forward to the rest of the year? Well, the big one for us that's coming up is is we, we recently were – uh, given some good news out of D.C. that E15 sales will be allowed this, mm -hmm. this summer, again, for the second year in a row. So uh, instead of shutting those pumps down on June 1st, consumers will continue to have access to that higher blend of ethanol that, that is the lowest cost fuel offering at the pump. So that's great news and, and more reason for optimism and excitement in our industry. Absolutely. So, Jeff, happy Renewable Fuels Month to you, and thank you for all you do. <laughs> President and CEO of the Renewable Fuels Association, that is Jeff Cooper. Always appreciate him being with us.